Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling different kinds of ceilings in interior over here in 3ds Max. So it is a small tutorial, I'm creating this on viewers request. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a plane. So people ask me that, uh, is it necessary to create a plane? So you can create a plane just because to define the base over here. If you don't create it, that's totally okay with it. So now what I'll be doing over here, I'll be using one technique over here that is known as bevel profile. How you can use bevel profile to create a ceiling over here. So let's go into this. Let's take a rectangle over here. So let's take a rectangle. I'll slightly push this up. This is one of the design which I am going to create and besides that, I will take a line and I will create some kind of a design which I will be utilizing for the creation of a scene. So now I can go into this, I can select the vertices and I can slightly adjust it. So once you are done. You can slightly select all of these vertices and let's give a bit of fillet if needed. After that, select this, go into the modifier list and give a bevel profile modifier. Go into the classic pick profile and click over here so as you can see once i have clicked on the profile over here as you can see in the classic pick profile as i've created you will see over here that it is created so now if i do anything with this profile over here you will see that it is going to work in that way and even if you try to scale it no it's not going to scale in this way but if you select this and try to scale it, it can scale it individually over here. You can scale the vertices over here. It can scale in many other ways. So you can create such kind of stylish stuff over here. Now after that, even I can go over here and if I select this and if I slightly give a bit of fillet, it is going to do the fillet right from inside but I don't want the fillet from inside. After that, once you are done, in the bevel profile, profile gizmo, you can slightly make it a bit bigger if required, much better and right click and convert to editable poly so I can easily convert this to editable poly over here I can just select this I'll ring it and I can give a bit of connect over here so select this polygons and this polygons and let's give a bit of bridge over here so once you have created it you can do such kind of stuff after that if you have any other designs over here that we can create it like you can also create an arc or also you can create a circle so let's just go over here I'll take a circle over here convert to editable spline I'll scale this circle over here and I can just attach attach this over here so once you attach it and if you even give over here as extrude modifier you will see that it will work in this way but before that again I'll go over here I'll take a rectangle, convert to editable spline 
and if you want I can just attach it with this over here so select this spline and you can use this boolean option over here so you can just subtract this you can subtract it but if you want the other way you can do that also So if you want in this way you can take some design in this way I can slightly scale it in this way and I can just extrude this up it up over here you can slightly increase its amount if needed and I can just mirror it so select this and mirror this in y axis over here let's make a copy of it so once you have duplicated it now you have option of a line so let's just connect one line over here enable in viewport make it as rectangular so this tutorial I am creating on viewers request so I will slightly just shuffle this up so if you have some any other designs in your mind you can uh, go with that not a problem I'll slightly again make a copy of it and with that I'll again go into this I'll take a cylinder for the lights so I can just activate this auto grid over here I can just convert to editable poly select this and slightly give a bit of inset over here slightly give a bit of bevel to it so let's click ok once you are done over here now I can again make a copy of it so that can be easily done now if you want some kind of designs over here that can be created so let's take a small example I want a small kind of a design with the help of the line tool. So let's go into this. Enable in viewport. I'll scale it. I'll select convert to editable spline. Select the vertices, right click, and I'll make it as corner. So if you want, I can slightly make this as corner and let's give an extrude modifier so I'll slightly give a modifier let's give it as 2 over here go into the hierarchy effect pivot only and I'll slightly shuffle my pivot point over here and I'll rotate it over here let's make a copy of it I'll slightly just push it in this way let's mirror it copy it in x-axis select this mirror it copy it in y-axis alright so once you are done so I'll just select this for now I'm just giving any color to it 
just to I'll go into this and let's set the angle as 90 over here for now and I'll rotate it and if you want you can just go into this and group it over here slightly shuffle this scale this over here after that I want to scale this more I can do that now So now again I will go into this, I will take a line over here, I will off this auto grid and I will just make one shape over here, I will slightly edit this shape if required. So select this over here and let's go over here enable in viewport make it as rectangular slightly reduce it you can go into this interpolation I can increase its steps to make it more smoother after that again Shuffle it out. So select this whole thing. Slightly shuffle this down. You can adjust this also. So now I'll just duplicate this let's mirror it and make a copy in x axis so let's slightly increase it more over here so now Again I can just select this and I can duplicate it if needed. So select this shuffle it over here. So I can again duplicate this right over here. So you can make multiple copies of it if needed. Alright. So different different styles you can just edit that. So select this again So again make a copy of it So wherever you want to place it, you can easily place it up over here. So 
so I'll just give one color to it so I'll just assign a you can see some designs so this is how you can uh, create a ceiling a stylish you can make more stylish if you want you can add some lights also if needed over here so if you want I can slightly shuffle this down more can add some lights who if required so there are many variations which you can do it over here can give different different styles for it so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so that's how we have created this designs of ceiling over here using a bevel profile modifier and also we have added some kind of stuff with the help of spline over here so thanks for watching this tutorial